Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I know it has been a while since I've been here with uh, StarCraft 2. Um, sorry about the uh, lack of content lately. Um, just been kind of busy. Friends uh, being kicked out, so they're staying here. One was, and uh, not anymore though, hopefully. Um, but you ever switching the uh, gear towards this game of StarCraft? Have you ever done a build that directly counters your opponent? Well, this is a good demonstration of that. This is about as blind as it gets, this game. Um, I played really slow because my friend was over and I was showing him this is how you play StarCraft. Um, but it was actually a pretty good demonstration because what I do a lot of times is I'll just attack and then I'll like lose my whole army and then I still don't have my expansion so it's like well the chances of me winning now are not likely so basically what I want to do what I want to work on doing at least is expanding every time I attack and um, yeah I think that'd be a good way to go about things and so I got really lucky in the form of this guy he was going for a straight on attack or not attack he was going for a straight on expand he was just going for his expansion to get it up and going before he attacks my plan was to get my proxy here actually I put down my proxy pile on here and then here and then I'm going to pressure him while I expand and that worked out quite well um, I need to work on these scouting patterns, but you know what? This did its job, and uh, what I notice is a lot of times my probe will just get screwed over because of the. He'll just like build something like right here, and he'll just like run into it, and he won't go around it because his pathing is too bad. Yeah, and uh, this marine is going to kill off this probe. This is another gold league PVT. Um, that was good. Uh, stutter step there. <laughs> um, just scouting out, seeing if I've got a third. Not likely. No natural. So um, he hasn't quite started his expansion yet. Neither have I. It's only like four minutes into the game. <sighs> Oh, uh, just getting my pylon. Supply blocks in this game weren't terribly bad. I know that I did really good in terms of not getting supply blocked this game. Of course, this game wasn't you know all that long. Uh, oh, jeez. <sighs> Yawn. Holy crap! All right. I guess don't cast StarCraft when it's still like 9 a.m. Jeez. Alright. Here's his expansion. I got my mothership core going down. This was a vital unit in this attack because... Because donuts. That's why. Just because. That's why. Um... Yeah. Um... Need to get that gas going. I was having issues with like not enough gas so I was and usually on a four gate you only want one gate or one gas um, but when you go three three gate pressure expansion that is when you're gonna want both your gas because well it also does depend do you plan on going stalker heavy zealot heavy or sentry heavy I like to go sentries versus Terran because this right here you if you get a force field like right on this ramp you can just literally like most of the marines will be back here and they'll be running in circles and then you can kill off the little army here kill off the expansion and then yeah he doesn't have anything he's going to spot this um, soon uh, yeah Alright, back to everybody else. This 
was pretty much my main pi proxy pylon. This one, yeah. I don't know how he knew this was here, but he just... Good scout. Good scout. Got lucky. Whatever. Uh, I got my three stalkers here. Um, one thing that is good to wait for is having some units, because if I was just to move out right now, it would be bad. Um, just not enough there to attack with. But I'm waiting, and now this is a good amount of stuff to attack with, but it's got to have a little bit more of a supplement than a mothership core, because right now this loses to this. And I know I've been in in it, so many situations where I've just seen like a this looks like a lot of marines when you're in the heat of a game, but it, it's really it's like it's really not that much not that many marines. And um yeah, so here I got the supplement that I needed, the force fields. Uh force fields and guardian shield can make a huge difference and that was a bad that was just bad on the movement command instead of the attack command. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Now he's pretty much got no units, killing off some, killing off some SCVs. That was an all right force field. That one could have been there about half an hour earlier. And he did save his orbital command, which is all right. Um, I need to get another warp in. Yeah, there we are. Um, and hopefully I can get good enough force fields to make this work. Yeah, that was pretty good. But that that one marauder can tear apart all these stalkers. I don't know what that was supposed to do. I don't even remember clicking that down. And that force field, with that force field, that's pretty much GG right there. GG, no re. Um, but what I was saying about the that little force of marines, if he would have gotten up not just one, but two medevacs, then this whole, would have, this, like, this, that would have beaten this. Because the medevacs make a huge difference in those engagements. Um, yeah, so, thanks for watching, like, like, rate, comment, subscribe, and, um, that's how you three gate expand. I didn't quite have it up and running, but it was still better than what he had, because I did have the Nexus and I had probes. Alright, so I will see you all next time.